Good morning, friends, and welcome to Shekhan Pre Market Roundup. Firstly, firstly, taking it to the global markets, uh, yesterday we saw that Europe was up around half to 1% across, the, uh, across all the markets in Europe, and uh, US was also positive, NASDAQ uh, being having the best, positive, best uh, positive session for 2012. This was basically led by Apple, which was up around 6%, and Dow was also up by around 1%. Same was the case with SP. Now, this has all happened on the after Facebook falling 11% and Apple going up by 6% which has um, made it possible for Nasdaq to post the best sessions of uh, session of 2012. The news uh, that basically there is no bad news in Europe which might come up for next uh, one month's time till 17th of June. On 17th of June it will be, they will get more clarity whether Greece will stay in the Eurozone or it will, it will go out of the Eurozone. As of now uh, most of the participating nations want Greece to be there in the Eurozone but there is some sort of uh, rumors in markets that Greece might finally go out of the Eurozone but all this won't happen till 17th of June so there is no major news to come out till 17th of June and uh, market global markets might re just remain sideways till then. Uh, on other news front, uh, in US there was Fed national activity data which, were, which came at 0.11 as against 0 .44, uh, 44, negative 0.44 previously so this was also a sort of good news for US markets. Coming to our markets. Uh, there was not much of action uh, yesterday with no major results coming out. SBI continued to, uh, to, be, to be strong after the volatile sessions in our markets uh, after posting good results on Friday. But uh, now uh, one can say that market might find some very good support at around 4850 to 1400 level uh, on the lower side and we might move towards 5000 levels uh, for next couple of sessions. On the news front, government uh, has uh, given some sort of indication that they are willing to compensate uh, OMCs for selling fuel at lower cost and this compensation can be as high as 7 billion dollars so uh, that is close to 35 to 40 thousand crores so this uh, this has fueled some sort of speculation in uh, OMC counters like HPCL and BPCL we recommend HPCL on the same grounds also on telecom news front uh, TRA has proposed a 17 DOT has proposed a 17% hike in 2G spectrum uh, fees uh, uh, as proposed by TREI. So this might again lead to some uh, sort of negativity in telecom stocks like Bharti and Idea. We suggest uh, going short on Bharti for the same reason. Let's have a technical check on markets uh, with Gaurav. Hi Gaurav, good morning. Good morning. So uh, what's your take on Nifty? Uh, we have taken very good support at you know, 4850 to 4900 levels uh, which happens to be a reasonably strong level as per derivatives. Uh, can we have a technical check on the scene? Yeah, uh, in case of uh, uh, technicals, uh, we can see that Nifty broke down from a bearish triangle and from there it has formed a 5-wave decline on the daily chart and what we are currently observing is a retracement of the 5-wave decline. Nifty has uh, taken support near medium term falling channel and daily momentum indicator has given bullish crossover yesterday. All these uh, signs indicate uh, that a pullback is uh, on the cards. Early chart shows that pullback is subdividing into lower degree waves and a minor degree dip till 20 early moving average which is close to 4881 uh, should be taken as a buying opportunity even early momentum indicator is likely to take support at the 9 period moving average and the next move which will originate from uh, these levels uh, can take nifty to Delhi move, uh, 20 daily moving average that is 5056 uh, so our short term target will be 5056 and uh, strategy would be to buy on dips near 4880 with a reversal of 4788 any stocks to watch out for in this move because if uh, nifty moves up say from 4880 on the lower side if it takes a bond let's say 1400 to 5050 it's a good 3% move which is uh, very important from index perspective can we have some stocks to cover for the same yes definitely First stock would be ICICI Bank. ICICI Bank has broken out from a falling channel. It is forming higher top, higher bottom. Uh, also, uh, momentum indicator is in bullish mode. Uh, it was showing positive divergence and it has crossed its previous high, whereas uh, the price is yet to cross the previous high. So, uh, we expect uh, ICICI Bank to trade with bullish bias uh, and key supports will be 795 and 770, whereas key resistances will be 820 and 845. Uh, next stock is also a heavyweight that is Tata Steel. Tata Steel has taken support near uh, falling channel, lower end of the falling channel and it has formed a bullish outside bar at the lower end of the channel. Uh, momentum indicator is on the verge of a bullish crossover. All these signs suggest that uh, Tata Steel is also set for a uh, bounce at least from short term perspective and key supports will be 390 and 375 and key resistances are 410 and 433.
thank you Gaurav. That was Gaurav uh, giving us a brief on technicals that we might uh, again find support at around 4880 to 4900 levels and rally towards 5000 to 5050, 5060 levels on the higher side where we might see some resistance coming in. Similar is the news, uh, similar is the interpretation of the derivatives data we had seen yesterday that there was some good uh, put addition in 48, 49 and uh, strike of put options. 4600 saw the highest uh, open the federation and put but that is very far away so let's not look at look at that from at this point of time on the call option side there was a, again some good actions in 49 and 5000 call option there, where there was addition of 78% uh, 4900 call and some 3 to 4% 5000 call but what is important is that the major open interest is still in uh, 5100 call option so market will definitely take a good uh, lot of resistance at around 5100 levels maybe uh, as, as for technical it is 5060 on the nifty options uh, BEP front uh, since expiry nifty options bra break even point is somewhere close to 5030 level so from 5030 to 50 uh, 5060 there is a lot of resistance coming in so it will be prudent to surrender longs uh, or at least uh, open up some uh, short positions to hedge your portfolio when we move towards 5050 which is around 3 percent from these levels 2 to 3 percent. That's all friends from our side. Thanks and bye. Have a nice trading session.